Hello YouTube and welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to uh, show you how to calculate the DC conductions and basically uh, the resistance of uh, different materials with the different mediums um, uh, of, a, of a design and uh, using the DC conduction uh, engine. Uh, this would be the chapter 6 of our uh, series of tutorials which I'm going to dedicate more examples on DC conduction um, engine. We put a lot of uh, times and uh, tutorials for the magnetostatic uh, magnetostatic, uh, basically uh, eddy current, transient uh, simulations and all these things and we didn't put that many time for the um, electrical side of the story and also the DC conductions. So what we have in a DC conduction is basically we will calculate the current. So that would be the DC current and the model will only care about DC conduction path and nothing else. So let's show you how this engine works and how we can uh, benefit from the, uh, th this engine. In this example, I'm going to uh, show you how you can uh, calculate the resistance of uh, two plates. Um, one made of seawater with a uh, height of H2 and one made of a graphite with the height of H1. Also, you know that the graphite has higher electric conductivity. In this case, the sigma 1 of the graphite is 70,000 uh, Siemens per meter, and the sigma 2, which uh, refers to the seawater, is only 4 Siemens per meter. Um, based on the uh, very, very simple Ohm law, you know that the basically resistance is. Uh, 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 directly dependent to the H1, higher the, the height, bigger the resistance, divided by the sigma 1, bigger the sigma, lower the resistance, and of course, larger the area A, uh, lower the resistance. And because we have two of them in series, we have plus H2 sigma 2 A. So putting all these values in, we should be able to see uh, the resistance of 10 ohm 000. So let's see if we can get that in our simulation. Great. Here I have a blank uh, Ansof Maxwell uh, Ansof Maxwell um, uh, model, which is the blank right now, and it's a version 15. It works the same with version 16 or higher. Um, let's go first, insert a 3D model, and start uh, creating our model in the first section of the tutorial. First thing first is you want to go to the Maxwell 3D, and under the solution type, you want to make sure that you are under DC conduction and make sure that this include on uh, insulator field is not checked so leave it unchecked and press OK now I'm going to go and draw boxes which represents the different mediums that we have the first medium is going to be the graphite which is a lower uh, medium so I'm going to put a 0 0 for the X and Y and Z and for the DX I'm going to have 5 millimeter sorry dx is going to be um, 5 millimeter, dy is going to be 5 millimeter, and the dz is going to be only 0.5 millimeter. Okay, uh, once again, the units are set to millimeters. If you don't know how to do that, please go watch my tutorials and chapter 1 and chapter 2. You will see how it will work. Okay, uh, I'm going to press OK on that and basically call this the graphite. Again, this is pops up. You can double click on that and you say you get the same um, um, property window. Again, how this thing is automatically popping up, I change it in the setting. Go check it out in the setting in the chapter one and chapter two. The those tutorials you can find the, the reason that is like that. So I'm gonna put it graphite and I'm gonna go and check the, um, the edit uh, the material and put it on uh, basically um, graphite by searching right there. Okay, pressing OK. Uh, color, whatever you like. Uh, I'm going to put a color that kind of represent that. So that would be the color of the graphite of my design and voila, that's done. Control D to see it. Okay, cool. Now uh, let's put um, other C level basically, right? So uh, for, do, for, for doing the C, uh, liquid C, we want to have uh, 0, 0 for the X and Y and 0.5 uh, for the Z, so 0, 0, 0.5, 0, 
and then for the dx and dy and dz we will have uh, basically 5 millimeter, 5 millimeter and the dz is going to be point sorry, dz is going to be 1 okay so that would be this I'm going to press OK on this and this is going to be seawater and uh, of course it is seawater so let's go and see if we can find seawater here um, actually I think it's water sea or something like this yes water sea with the uh, bulk conductivity of 4 cements cool press OK on this and um, the color oh actually it is water so let's make it like more transparent and uh, there we go it's pretty cool so now we have our two uh, layers okay that will conclude conclude our modeling i'm gonna go and uh, in the next video we will see the assignment and setup for this model thanks for watching